Hello again, everyone. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I'm trying to load up to continue our adventure from last time. And while you're trying to do that, I ditched you and went to camp. Because... I can't believe she ditched me. I <laughs> went to camp. I didn't know we had a camp. Yep. I figured, you know, it's going to take me a million years to load in, so I'll just do the loading before the recording started. I figured this camp was a, a figure of speech to tell them to go to hell when we were... <laughs> <laughs> But apparently we do have a camp somewhere, and it is here. And now I'm there. How did I get here? It's a mystery. But I found something cool in the camp. What's that? There's a shooting dummy. That's a good use of Le Buen Zell. Yes. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dummy, not that dummy. Yeah. Okay. That dummy might get angry or something. I've had about enough of her anyway. You know, me too. Let's take her stuff. Oh, good idea. I don't... Can you take her stuff? You can't unequip it. You can take stuff out of her inventory. Is it because she's in your party member that I can't take her stuff? Yes. Okay. She doesn't have a shield. Okay. So... Now she doesn't have a long sword either. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want her scroll of revival and health stuff? Yes. She has something in her pack as well. In her pack. Yeah, I don't know. Camp supply sack. Oh. I I think maybe you should just take the thing out of it and leave her with the sack. Uh, okay. You know, keep your inventory from getting organized. You know, just in case somebody starts shoving a bunch of stuff in there. Can I take her decent no, armor? That's unequipping, remember? Can we give her clothes or something instead? I mean, she's wearing clothes, hypothetically. Yes, but I meant, like, if we give her some other kind of not good armor, this armor is actually pretty good. It's Kakeki half plate, half plate is the best medium armor. Is it? Yes. What is my armor? Chain shirt. Yeah, hers is gonna be a, just plus two armor, plus better. If we can get her armor, we want it. Oh, I can get it. Just you okay, can't. Okay, so just me can't. Okay, well, that's great. Okay, now we have good armor. Should I take my chain shirt back? I gave it to her instead of. The chain shirt is. We've got that. I've got scale mail of vengeance, whatever that <laughs> even means. I'm taking her shoes because they match. I don't know if they're any good. Are they any good? They give me plus one athletics. They do. Oh, uh, oh, these ones. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, don't let her have any of that stuff. Okay, it's mine now. I could take. Her underwear, oh my gosh, it's just a harness built for function. I don't think that looks... That's like the opposite of making sense. Yeah, that that's not built for function. I guess we don't know how Githyanki anatomy is or whatever. Maybe this you know, insane looking kind of underwear is exactly what a Githyanki needs. Good point. Uh, I don't want to know. Do we want her I short bow? people. What was that? Do we want her short bow? Uh, no, that seems to be a pretty sucky weapon. Okay. I'm going to take my silver necklace off because I forgot to sell it last time because I was wearing it. That makes sense. I can just add it to wares. And apparently send things to camp. I don't know. That can reduce our carry weight when we're out adventuring, maybe. Maybe. Okay, anyway, do we need anything else from her before I ditch her? I don't think so. I've already forgotten if you told me if we should keep the chain shirt. No, we already all have copies of that. Do, does What's-His-Face have it? I assume you mean Will. Yes. <laughs> Will can't wear it. Oh, okay. Will is a warlock. They don't get proficiency. We should probably get him proficiency with it, because his armor class is going to suck. But let's see. <laughs> can I join this conversation? I'm sure you can. It wouldn't let now. Okay, there we go. Let's see. We could talk about things. Oh, she's my first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You're so why should we go to their camp then? Like... I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large I don't know why I ever liked Lay Boings though. Mistake. For some reason, like, the first episode or two, I just liked Shadowheart and liked Lei Boingzell, but as I said last time, friendship ended with Lei Boingzell, now Shadowheart is my friend. Alright. Well, she thinks my nose isn't dignified. It's not as cute as your actual nose. 
You just insulted my nose. And you just said you lead us people who will kill us. Do not keep me waiting. Anyway. We'll keep her waiting, I think. Will is mine! Ah! <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna give him to you immediately so you can level him. Actually, you go recruit him. I think you're in dialogue with him. Yeah, I did. I am. The blade of frontier I'll the just chat. Vicious one, in fact. Oh, I see how you put his eye. Okay. What's bloodstone? I don't know. Glen is a real mineral. I feel like it's like a ore that we lead from. I might be misremembering that. Ouch. We aren't lifetime friends, even though we've only <laughs> just met. Oh, I can cleric something. <laughs> that just feels... I feel like I'm being very rude right now. I think it would be okay if my handsome character was doing this, but with your weird-looking drow face, it does look kind of strange. You, know. you aren't a cleric. <laughs> um, sending stone. <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. Hmm. He assures us. Is he getting like? I uh, succeeded. <laughs> Where is keeping something from me? A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Maybe we should just try to stop keeping secrets from each other, given that we do this mind reading thing anyway. Yeah. I'm good at wisdom, right? You are good at wisdom, but it might be rude. On the other hand, like, maybe then I'll talk to them and it'll be like, good cop, bad cop. <laughs> Difficulty class two. I think you got it. I think it's... There's no point in casting guidance. I think that's true. But there's no reason not to cast guidance, right? It takes one extra half second to watch the guidance number pop up. Eh. We'll see if my screen reveals the result before hers does. Yep. My guidance was a plus four again. Yes. Your goddess, whichever one that was, really wanted you to read this guy's mind. <laughs> what are you? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and Oh, it's taking on the <laughs> You find only shadow. Piece of Will's mind locked away from I am place. such a terrible Keep person. My mind. Hmm. I told you He's the one who made a deal with the devil, the devil or something like that. And that's the end of it. Well, you lied to us, I guess, but That's the spirit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll give them to you so you can level them up. Sounds looks like he got as much XP as we have, so it seems like basically there are not the party we just level up the match everyone else, which well, that's good, that so you don't have to worry about grinding up characters or something. Yes. Why am I the only one injured? The boy and Zell was the other injured one, and now I'm lonely. Yeah, and I guess come to think of it, does that mean if we can switch out people, like mid-adventure, instead of like resting people, be like, you're injured, let's swap you out and like tag team in some other person who's fresh and then have them join the fight or something. Well, we can't do it mid-fight, but... True. Um... At least I think that's true. So. Well, yeah, you have to flee to be able to get to the camp if you're in combat. Okay. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried to camp in combat. But you... Okay. And we just get to camp somehow or other, so I, I don't... Alright, so he... They kind of portrayed him as being good at this rapier in that cutscene, but it doesn't seem like he would be, because that's based on dexterity, and his dexterity is kind of mediocre to bad. He has a lot of points in intelligence, which he can't really use. Uh, yeah, really, I think he's a very poorly optimized character, just from what I'm looking at here. So, I think... Yeah, as a warlock, none of that matters that much, because he should stop doing his rapier stuff and just sit in the back and throw Eldritch Blasts at people. People think of warlocks as being kind of like half spellcasters, but they're really not. You should think of them more, I think, like... Archers. They're archers that have special effects on their arrows and occasionally they cast a spell once or twice. So, level 2 is a good level for Warlocks. I don't think we want to have Burning Hands. Command is great, but we've both got Command already. Right Maybe we don't need a third person with it. What spells does he have? Hex. Okay. Hex is kind of overrated. Now, invocations are special things Willis get to enhance their abilities in different ways. Agonizing Blast is the classic one. Just let you add your charisma damage to your 
Eldritch Blast arrows, basically, and it's, you know, later on you get multiple Eldritch Blasts at the same time, so it does decent damage. Now, armor actors give him Mage Armor. Now, I think, I might have said that, I think Mage Armor, it'd be an improvement for him right now, because his armor is going to be terrible, but in the long term, I feel like it's kind of a noob trap. It's not actually good. Uh, Beast Speech. We may find out what the deal with that weird ox is. But I think that'd be a waste of this permanent invocation thing. Uh, Gain in Deception and Persuasion. I think I'm already the, the, the talker of the party. True. Devil's Sight is a classic thing, because Warlocks can create darkness later on, so you make darkness that you can see through it, enemies can't, so it's kind of like you get greater visibility at level 3, which is decent. Um, so we could take that. We won't apply to the next level, though. Finish Vigor, Mask of Many Faces, One of the Shadows, and this is the one I was looking for. Okay, so there's no Grasp of Adar, or whatever it's called, Arms of... The one that pulls people toward him. <laughs> I, I mixed it up when we were seeing him join us. He has the spell version, I was thinking of the, uh, Invocation that pulls out this order. He doesn't seem to have that, but he can get Repelling Blast, which is quite useful. It's like a ranged push effect that doesn't even have a saving throw. Uh, it's quite good. So let's take that for him. He can just push people with his arrows. And for placing good. spells, we can change out. So he's got Armor of Agathus, which is kind of overrated, but okay for Warlocks. And he's got Arms of Hadar. So that's the one I was mixing up with Grasp of Hadar. So it seems like that's just kind of mediocre damage, and then we can't do reactions, which is not that great. So let's switch that thing out and replace it with which bull. Unless it changes this game, which bull is horrible. It's another noob trap. Never use it. But you could do up to twelve damage. You could. What people think it's good about it is that it lets you do odd knock damage the next turns, as long as the enemy doesn't ever walk out of the tiny range of it. Mm. But like. It's just not good damage. <laughs> it's not worth it. You can do so much more damage with any decent first level spell. Because you need to hit the initial one, and it just... And this fight goes for like 20 rounds, there's no fight I would ever go for. It. Ever walking out of the leash, or break your concentration, or you wouldn't do anything else. It's just never, ever worth it. Maybe this game changed it in some way, but I, I doubt it. Protection from evil is decent. Expeditions retreat, decent. It seems like command, you know, you know more command... The more the merrier. Commands do seem nice. And they can make them more efficient. So, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. I think this is acceptable. Okay. Let's get him a shield once we can, though. And better armor. Okay. Alright, you can take him back. Mine! I also messed around in your inventory. You did. I, I gave you some things, and also I put your keys on your keychain, so they weren't just loose. Okay. And it looks like you have her armor. Yes, I took her armor. Forged of Vlacketh's standards. I guess Vlacketh is their lich queen or whatever. Ooh, a candle. Okay, do you know how to leave camp? I assume we don't actually want to rest, right? Yeah, there's a button here called leave camp. I'm out of here. Oh, okay. Now I'm not trying to ditch you. <laughs> see how you like it. I still don't see the button. If you click the campfire icon over there, one of the options will leave camp. Oh, okay. Then just poof into existence here. Well, I'm still working on the poofing part. I think if you touched me, I'd be insubstantial. There's no option to start a conversation with me, right? No. Yeah. That'd be funny if we had, like, NPC dialogue options to talk to each other. <laughs> Have you heard of the High Elf? <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, my High Elf, where shall we go? I am. I am a Wood Elf. Oh. <laughs> Apologies. She's a High Half Elf, not a uh, Half High Elf, which would make more sense to me. Was she 420 before uh, we... Apparently. <laughs> 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 All right. So... I think one thing I wanted to figure out was, so we were on that beach. We yes. We got through that door by yeah. block picking. <laughs> we should figure out where we were supposed to go before we get, like, too far along. I agree. Because I don't think we're supposed to go into that dungeon with just, like, two people, and then... Well, we hit three. Yes, because we're in multiplayer, yes. But if that was a hard lockpick check, we would not have been... Oh, there's a cliff here. I've lost you. Uh, I can see you. I'm ahead of you. Yes, I'm... You just appeared out of nowhere on my screen. I think I'm quite laggy at the moment. Could be. So if you walk off, 
what you do is you disappear and then oh, reappear I see, yeah, elsewhere. In yeah, I, I've learned Misty Step. I'm doing short range teleportation. <laughs> and just the mist isn't rendering. So this is the cart. I remember the cart. Oh, hold on. There's a chest over here. Did a you chest, get into it? Chest. Oh, yeah, we dug that one up. Oh, you did. Oh! With the shovel. You just reappeared again. Yes, I still have the shovel. Okay. So down here was... I can see so far. This is the ruin that we came from. Okay. Which we're probably supposed to come from from this direction or something. But cool that there's a flexibility in the game that can go different ways. Okay, here's the, like, pink bubblegum looking ship. Yes. Um, so that must be the right track. What are those chief going to go and investigate the ship? Maybe we'll meet them over here. Oh, yeah. And we ditched Lazelle, so they won't even know we didn't take care of her. That's, yeah, that all worked out perfectly. Unless they go to camp, wherever that is. Mm -hmm. Then they'll know. Camp is on another plane of existence. A smashed cage. What's in it? Broken. Must have been here a while. I don't even see it. There's a weird old magic portal thing here. An ancient... Oh, ancient sigil serpent. That was what we used to do waypoints or something, right? Yeah. Let's go and talk to the ancient sigil circle. It seems dangerous. What's going on with that? Oh, that's very... Right. Yes. I thought it was just going to be a room drawn on the cliffside. Like the previous one, yeah. Yeah. You want to talk to it? Yeah, I'll talk to it. Don't get sucked in. It looks like it's a black hole type thing. Oh, am I in a conversation? I'm trying to join it. Well, I'm not in it. Mm. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. It is weird to see you in the Githyanki armor. <laughs> it looks slightly dangerous. I've just stolen things from everyone. Yes. You want to touch the sigil? I could. I vote for you to touch the sigil when your world catches up. Okay. The sigil is probably distorting time and space, so... Oh, it's <laughs> also frozen on your screen. Okay. Well, it's not quite frozen. It's just very... clicky-clicky. That seemed predictably hazardous. I just thought of something. Did an arm just reach out of that? It did. Anyone? You've got a hand right there. Oh, 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 oh. His name is Gale. Last episode, we were looking at that staff thing, and it said that Gale can destroy the item to absorb its effects, whatever that means, or something. Mm. I feel like my strength sucks, so I'm going to cleric it. That sounds reasonable. You can also guidance it. Yes, always guidance. Except for that time where we spent, like, a minute talking to... Oh, jeez. <laughs> talking about how it would take an extra half second. <laughs> Glad I didn't have to do a strength check. Yes. I assume. Oh, there's the rune. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was trying to use the rune to teleport. Like, we apparently can, but just haven't done so. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. Man, everyone's on that novel load, huh? Is every character we meet gonna have been on it? Maybe. Draw your weapon. What do you think? Yes or Uh I'm curious how we got stuck in that stone. Me too. And we're tired of talking about this. Exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in free fall. Okay, I remember that part. Plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer. Quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. That sentence almost makes sense. To be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? So I guess he saved himself in some way, whereas we have no idea what we were doing. I guess yeah, the clerk thing makes the most sense. Or actually, we could say we took control of the ship, but we didn't land it safely, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Valuable commodity to be favored so by the gods. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. 
Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? Well, can't you see my eye? You didn't make your eye look weird for that reason, yeah. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's been a while, it hasn't done so yet. And let me assure you, so I guess he's the one that was supposed to tell us that word that appeared later. Uh huh. Speaking about divine intervention, you just said, oh, I guess you didn't see her, but you just said that the guards protect you. Doctor, surgeon. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. I was talking about the solution to this is just that we take turns killing each other and using revivify scrolls that's removing the parasite from like the head, but I suppose few enough can. Not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more? Can you ditch what's her face so we can take him? I'm thinking about that, because you already are a cleric, so she's a little bit redundant, isn't she? Yeah, and if you exit out of the conversation, she's in your group, so you can ditch her right now before I answer him. And then we don't have to go to camp to switch. Okay, let's try that. Character select. I think you have to exit out of the conversation. Okay, I guess we'll miss things here. I just won't continue until you come back. Okay. I just kind of be wondering what in the world we're doing here. Yeah, oh, you gave her all of Lizelle's stuff, so take it from her if you want it. Yes. Or even if I don't want it. Yeah. Gotta take everything. Why does she have a crate? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I take her shield. That the person who was giving everyone all the uh, the stuff in their pockets <laughs> is to blame for this. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I definitely didn't put the rotten chicken eggs in her pocket because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> we should have given those to Lay Boing Zell instead. Yeah, she, she was coming. already gone though. Alright, we're taking your hat, too. But she, she looks so good in the, the hat. The ruffles some Blagret hat? Yeah. Okay. Could this be useful to somebody? Isn't that what I already have? You've got better. Come to think of it, shouldn't I be the one wearing the uh, Githanki half plate because I'm the frontliner? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it? I think it would be best for me if I'm taking the more, you know, more of the melee attacks. Mm. It does kind of look dumb. But armor class wise, it's better. I mean, it's got the female version right now. I'm sure it'll look less dumb when you're wearing it. You can put your clothes on Shadowheart. Okay, there we she go. She just tried it. To... I guess I took the armor off. I didn't change her to regular clothes. Hmm. Okay. You still need to kick her out of your party. Yes. Oh, what were we talking about? I'm missing you right now. Something the matter. If you're sure, as you like, perhaps I'll see you. She's again. much nicer about it than Lazel was. Yeah, I, as I said, like I, I don't know why I disliked her before. Other than like her name is stupid. Well, she was initially a jerk. True. It's really more like her parents' fault. Like they named her Moon Unit or something. <laughs> Oh, you're still in that conversation. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. Okay, I like him pretty well, too. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you missed much conversation. The excellent was still on the screen when you joined, and that was the first thing he said. Okay. Now we've got a wizard. I guess he can be leveled up. You can have him since you just gave up what's your face. Yes. My very own pet wizard. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll mess around with the armor while you do that. What do you have? Scale male of but you're wearing male of vengeance. And it's a disadvantage on stealth checks. I don't want your armor. They both are. Oh, okay, fine. Generally speaking, one of the few balancing factors of the heavier armors and whatnot is that they have disadvantage in stealth checks. Okay, so you can either go level 2 wizard, which would be... You can get a subclass then, or to keep him alive... He does a good constitution, which is good. To keep him alive, we can make sure they can go cleric for one level and get him something like a light domain or something to give him medium armor proficiency. 
Why isn't my chain shirt a disadvantage on stealth checks? It's just that armor type isn't disadvantage on stealth checks. Oh, it has okay. bad armor class, but it has doesn't impose penalties on stealth checks. Mm. As I recollect, like the two best medium armors are breastplate, which is one less uh, armor class than um, half plate has, but it doesn't impose disadvantage on stealth. And then there's half plate that gives one more armor class than breastplate, but does have disadvantage on stealth. There's only one armor class difference between the vengeance that you have and the gift Yankee I have. That's right. And a breastplate would give the same as scale mail, but it doesn't have disadvantage on self checks. It would be a straight upgrade. Right. I'm talking about us switching our armors. Yes. But of the two of us, if I'm the one in the front, I should probably be the one who has the best armor, right? Yeah, but it looks cool. Mm. And matching boots. Matching boots? Yeah, I've got matching boots. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> so I could take them off as a wizard, or I could go to cleric, basically, is what I'm thinking. If he went to cleric, it would give him good armor, potentially heavy armor. Uh, it would give him... We already have guidance, but get some of the cleric stuff, I guess. What do, what do druids get? They get meat armor, but they can't use good meat armor, because they can't be made of metal. Or he could go fighter for level and get hit points and a fighting style, which wouldn't really help much, other than... What does ranged combat fighting style do exactly in this game? Archery. Ranged weapon attacks. It would not count as firebolt, sadly. Defense would be useful. So I, I could basically have him either go one level in fighter to get access to the defense fighter, so I'll just boost his armor class by one and get medium armor proficiency, so he'll have a better armor class that way. Or I think he could go um, with cleric. And if what cleric he could go light them in, he could get warding flare and things like that, which would be useful for defense too. I think either way, we want to protect the squishy wizard, because the way you become unsquishy as a wizard in 5e is you take like one level and it gives you armor proficiency, basically. Okay. So, uh, do you have a preference of that he goes one level fighter and gets, or he goes cleric and gets um, warding cleric? I mean, we already have multiple clerics, so I guess fighter, maybe? Maybe. The only thing the fighter would get over the cleric, though, would be um, martial weapon proficiency, right? I don't know enough to have an actual. I'm just trying preference. to think about, think about that. I'm usually taking them at level one. You get different things if you're taking them at level one versus if you're taking them at later character levels in 5e. Order matters. We don't really need guidance, because we already have you have guidance and whatnot. Uh, I do think I, I'm leaning toward cleric. Subclass. Could be like me to get heavy armor for him. So yeah, if we go cleric, we can actually get heavy because that's granted not by. Level 1 cleric but like the subclass, which would be interesting. Or ward him in or, or tempest to give him that. So that could give him heavy, then we could get plate armor to put plate armor on him, but we don't have it currently, no sign of getting it. So medium might be better. In which is, I think that light is the, the pick here. You give him fairy fire too, which is going to be a pretty sweet spell, I think. So yeah, I think I'm leaning toward cleric. Get him warding clear, get him fairy fire. Burning hands is eh. Alright, cantrips. We don't need guidance necessarily. He could do thematurgy or something. Sacred Flame just to have a radiant damage effect would be useful. Blade work would be good to keep him alive. Uh, produce flame. He'd probably take Firebolt if he doesn't already have it, so we don't need that one. I might, just in case for some reason we can't have you do guidance all the time, we'll probably take guidance on him. It seems like it's so useful that we want to have access to it. Okay. Uh, subclass Deity, let's go with Mistra, it's appropriate. And he only gets one prepared spell, because his wisdom isn't very good. So we could just have another person doing Bless. He won't be good at imposing saving throws, so we don't really want that for him. He will have other things to concentrate on. Sanctuary, Fish, Evil, and Good... So I think we either want one of these ones that doesn't require him to have anyone make a saving throw, or we want to give him Bless. We already have Bless, but like the Bless brothers could use more help, right? Just put the band back together here. So I'll, I'll take Bless on him. You never regret having more Bless in the party, really. And we'll call that good for now. No joke. Alright, let's give him some real armor and a shield now. I guess I got a shield from Shadowheart. Oh, maybe Will needs that more. Hmm. All right, well, chain shirt for you, because you can wear it. Better armor class already. That looks very silly on you, doesn't it? Definitely Shadow Hearts. Yes. 
See, I left the one on the Gith Yankee because I didn't think we needed it. Because we have an extra one. Hmm. So which extra one do we have? The chain shirt. My chain shirt. Which is where in your inventory? Nowhere. It's on the Gith Yankee. Oh, I see. Well, it's true, though, because this is a chain shirt and Will can't wear one, so that's fine. It's just a question of uh, scale and elevation to a half play. So, he is bad with this quarterstaff. If we gave him, like, a rapier, he wouldn't have proficiency with it, but if we gave him, like, a dagger, he could use it, I guess. Will has Eldritch Blast, so probably uh, you would benefit more from this light crossbow, because Will will just be blasting. Uh, let's see. Now, a shield for one of these two. Gale is probably the more important, because he has more concentrations to maintain, I think. So there you go. His armor class is suddenly comparable to ours. Well, to mine, I know. Yours is better, because you've got the you Yankee half plate. And you have better dexterity than me, is that right? Probably. Yes, I'm still going to get heavy armor, so I'm not care about my dexterity as much anymore. Oh, we don't really want a quarter staff for him, though, do we? Does anyone have a weapon he can actually use? I've got a, a bajillion weapons here. Here's a <laughs> knife. Can he use a scimitar, or a mace, or a spear, or a pike, or a javelin? He could probably use a, a mace. Maybe a mooring sword. That's a classic cleric thing. I'd right, say proficiency. Looks a bit silly how big that is. It does. It's like the Witch King's giant spiky mace. <laughs> Actually, he's bad with strength weapons, though. So he'd be bad with the mace, too. I think a dagger is the pick. As a finesse weapon. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh, we are continuing to get the band back together. Yes, this band that we managed to skip, apparently. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to group your wizard. We've got dead goblins over there. Ooh. This one's got a goblin bow and a goblin bone. Oh, and camp supplies. That's good. This one has a scimitar. This one's got a potion of healing. This one's got the good ones this time. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go back into the creepy bubblegum ship. Oh, you're going over there? Well, it's not a dead end, I don't think. There's a path through the ship. Let's be careful. Oh, there's fire. Beware of fire. I took four damage. That's I'm... a lot of damage. Oh, Will's smart and jumped over. Or did you jump over? He still took damage. Oh, you're still taking damage. Oh, I'm fire. the one taking damage. Yes. Will did not take damage. He jumped over it. Um, anybody want to heal me? Uh... I could take a potion of healing. I guess, let's see. Who's got a good heal? I've got Lay on Hands. It's only useful for heal, so I'll do it. Is, are we losing a spell that we should use, though? No, he, laying hands is only useful for healing. That's what I'm saying. Is it not a spell? No. Oh. Yay! Can you do it more than once? I think I am out. So it is a spell? No. But it is limited. I think that's what I was trying to ask. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I just saw there was a path. There's a lot of lots of blood on the ground there. There is. Well, that, that's wait, is that back where we came? Oh, this is we took the long way or something. Wait, wait, where are we? Where we? I, do you mean where are we or where are we going? Oh, I see. I see. So no, I don't see. What what blood on the ground are you talking about? Uh, this way. This is back to the gates, and there's tons of blood on the ground. Oh, okay. I think we should go back over the fire and flames here. Okay, I'll jump this time. That sounds like a good idea. That or stop, drop, and roll. I can jump so far. Gil, did you just jump into the fire? You did, didn't you? I can't. I can't jump. How do I get rid of jump? Stop trying to jump. How do I get rid of it? Escape. Okay. I have to walk closer, I think. Let's try this again. Just barely made it over the fire. Okay. 
Where did he go? on the ship or something. I'm in the ship. I'm looking around. I see Mind Flayer blood. Me too. It's apparently white. Oh, is this like the main, like the bridge? The helm? I don't know. Maybe. Isn't the helm in the bridge? Oh, I just heard somebody say I I think you're right. Oh, you heard someone say they need help? Where? I have no idea. I just heard it in my earbud very quietly. Oh. Okay, that sounds important. Oh, wait, there's a person over here. Oh, you see him? I see a person. I don't know if it's one calling for help, but there's a person. Does he need help? I, I don't know. He's oh, he looks like the person on the picture of the game, though. Oh. Please, that's... please come help me. Yeah, he does need help. Okay. Okay. So I guess he can do... I got one of those brain things. You need to be more specific. You mean intellect devourer? In the grass. Oh, I wait, I'm not in the conversation. Oh, wait, this is obviously a trap. He's going to have us like, go ahead and then he'll stab us in the back or something. Like, obviously. So, kill it yourself? I just hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. So, like, there's no way to not fall for the trap? That's. Well, you have a roll. Yeah, but I mean, like, I knew it was a trap and I just, I couldn't just. You could have hit fall. leave. I guess. But when I said that, I just apparently left anyway. You know, the longer I talk, and we just kind of sit there staring at the silly girl this gets. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure I can outstrike this pansy elf. Okay. Okay. I guess you can guidance yourself. <laughs> that works. Can I beat the heck out of this guy with that natural twenty there? Or I guess it wasn't the natural one. I saw you on the ship. Strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. Should have said something. What did you and those tentacle freaks do to me? Prissy sounding elf. Yeah. Oh, I think I could just kind of grumpy about having just been, you know, tricked and usually having his throat cut by this twerp. You arrogant little. Wait, little? I'm like a head taller than you. Is this another criminal? Yes. Wait, another? Something to admit to? <laughs> what? <laughs> the worm. Of course. He's got red eyes. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see his teeth there? Look at his canine teeth. Pointy. Yeah. What is he? Well, I, I was going to say he's like a vampire, but he's out in the sunlight. So that doesn't make... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just his teeth are drawn weird. But he's pale and he has pointy teeth, so I... I don't know. Maybe he's like a half vampire or something? That's a, a thing, or it was in some editions. Uh, we could do the greedy thing for him. Introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those. I wonder if that was the city that we saw the ship fly over and attack people in or not. Maybe. Oh, apparently I'm also a Baldurian. Uh, I didn't know that, but what's the term of that? Maybe we all are. I guess. Uh. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Are you about to tell us that we don't get to the power district very often? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Turn us into... <laughs> yeah, if he was a vampire, I don't think it would work on him. In fact, I'm sure it wouldn't. Of course it'll I remember that Mind Flare is a fear undead more than anything else because they have completely need all mind-related stuff. They can't be killed by having their brains eaten. They can't be detected by Mind Flare detection stuff either. It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things... There might still be time. That's what we're working on. I guess we're ahead of schedule telling him he's all caught up already. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Well, dump him off in camp? Yeah, he and Lazel, uh, they deserve each other. I was ready to go this alone. 
But maybe sticking with the herd isn't the pale elf. He calls us the herd. Oh wait, if there's another chat thing, uh, where is he? Don't don't go anywhere. Good luck. So he's a high elf. There he goes. He can do non-lethal attacks. Rogue, he's gone. I think we can probably all do non-lethal attacks. Let's get uh, let's go to camp and see what he can do. But what I mean was they never mind. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Under the list of things under examine, there is a toggle non-lethal attacks thing. Yes, which I think, I... We, I think we all have that option. It's um, I know I saw it somewhere. Will you examine me? Okay. Yeah, I think it's um, it's over here under passives. There's a button for non-lethal attacks. Well, I I know that that's a thing we can do. Okay. I just haven't seen it under notable features before. I bet it only applies to player characters, or whatever you call these people. I think they're called non-player oh, characters. We're on level three now. I guess they kind of this knife wielding. Twerp gave us a level up. Well, do you want to see what kind of stuff he's got? Oh, I guess you are. Nope. Oh, what are you doing? I'm leveling myself up. Oh, okay. We can't do that on your screen, so. True. Let me level up Gale here. I'll be a gentleman, level him up before me. He does look a little silly in that armor, but. Okay. So, we could take probably the next level in Wizard. I think it wasn't <laughs> primarily the Wizard. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast is just in our camp for some reason. That, so that's a little bit sketchy. Is that, you know, by uh, Lazel? Maybe. They, I don't actually get to see anything, though. It just tells me that there's a map. Let's cancel that. I want the Wizard. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. Okay. So, choose our subclass now. Uh, basically, a Wizard School. That'll grant him some kind of different bonus. Some class get some class at level one, some get at level two, some get at level three. Awesome, it's gonna get more. And this is an important thing to note. So, as a level two wizard, level one cleric, he can't know any second level spells, but he gets second level spell slots. Your spell slot progression goes up with like those classes combined, but your spell level progression does not. So he'll learn, he'll get second level spell slots that he can use to cast more powerful versions of first level spells, basically. Hmm. Until next level, then he'll learn actual second level spells. So what are the subclasses here? We've got Abjuration, which gives you... Okay, they're all going to have this savant thing that lets you learn spells from scrolls. We can teach some new spells, though. That's going to be useful. Uh, we can get Arcane Ward. How do, it doesn't tell us anything about how it works. So... At the tabletop, Arcane Ward, if you played cheesily and your GM allowed cheesy's play, it was really, really powerful because you could just you know, sit in camp and do the ritual cast of something like Alarm to end the charge of your ward and have massive hit points all the time. But I don't think any sane GM would allow that, and it was really dumb in character. I doubt it would work that way here, so I'm going to assume that that's not good because it won't give us any information. School spells can be useful for doing a blast spell, but blast spells are usually not that great. Weren't you just talking about how clerics were short on blast spells? And so I'm saying it's good to add to their repertoire. Not that they're the best spells, just like it's a thing that clerics don't tend to have a lot of. Mm. And so it's nice to have the option for when you do want it. But it's not going to do the primary thing, I don't think. Grim Harvest. If you kill a creature of the spell, you gain hit points. It's. Yeah, that's a tiny amount of hit points. Not very good. Conjuration. Gives you. Create water. Uh, extinguishers? Okay, that, that could be useful, I guess. Really, the two best ones I thought in the player's handbook, usually, were enchantment and divination. I don't know if they'll be different here, but enchantment, hypnotic gaze, that sounds the same. Charming capacity creature can't attack, you can't act. So just the neat thing about it is simply that it doesn't take a spell slot, and it's usable unlimited times, basically. So use of your action, but you just keep the target charmed, and they just sit there, and so you kind of trade off one for one, and the wizard takes out somebody from the fight. Oh, uh, without spending a spell slot. So that's pretty darn good. Divination, though, was usually, like, the go-to spell. Because of... Uh, not spell. School. Because of Portent. Portent is really fun and really powerful. Uh, unpredictable. 
some extent, because you roll two dice at the end of the day, and you don't know whether they're going to be good or bad, but then basically you can substitute those dice in for a dice anybody rolls later on in the day to make the forcibly fail saves. You have a mischievous <laughs> inventory trickster. I'm I'm pickpocketing you. I see. I'll give the gold back. I'm just practicing. I don't know if it gives me experience or not, but I figure, you know, while you're talking about things, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just droning on here. She's picking my pockets as I lecture to the class. Okay, let me just check. What does illusion do? Improve minor illusion, bonus action. Okay, I don't know what minor illusion does exactly in this game. It's at the tabletop. It's just you know, if your creativity is high, it's amazing. I think it's one of the best cantrips after guidance. It's from alchemy. Two kind of solutions. If we knew how alchemy worked, it could be good. Uh, but he's not going to be good at medicine, is he? Because that's yeah. Okay, I am leaning toward divination. Spells. He's already got burning hands from light domain. He'll be bad at it though, because it's going to be based on his wisdom. Chromatic Orb is a mediocre to bad single target blast, so that's a no. Color Spray, Expeditious Retreat, False Life, Feather Fall. It could be useful. I think we want to have Fine Familiar. I'm shocked he doesn't already have it. Uh, long, ooh. Triple Creature's Jumpy Distance. I gotta try that out. Uh, but he, okay, oh, this is tricky. The shield is mandatory. It's, it's a spell that should never have existed. It completely broke the game balance and made it so that now wizards or whatever tend to be tougher than fighters, but... Hmm. I apparently really suck at pickpocketing. I'm... There's three spells here that I really want. Can we get him to learn a spell from a scroll so we can not have this worry? Uh, which spells does he currently have? So he's got major armor. No, we don't need that anymore. We'll let him trade that out. He's, we definitely want to have shield. Grease is sometimes good. Sleep can be really good. It tends to not level up very well, but it's still really powerful at this level, I think. There'll be a lot of enemies that just, you know, no saving people make fall asleep. At the tabletop, it was, it was better, because here it only lasts for two rounds, other than ten rounds, which is basically infinity in D&D time. Thunder would be a decent area effect blast. He has burning hands, but he's not good at it. Find familiar, I think yes. I think instead of Grease, I might take Sleep as his debuff of choice. And can I get him Jump? Not at the same time. It's, it's one or the other. Find familiar or Jump. Or give up Shield. The Shield is so good. We gotta get him a scroll of one of these things. Do we have one already? A scroll of what? Either shield or uh, find familiar or um, jump. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Okay, I guess we'll need to get one eventually. Okay, I think I want to try out familiars. Because those were so powerful in the actual game. So he's got a blast, he's got a debuff, he's got shield, he's got find familiar. We take another debuff. Uh, I guess I'll take Grease then. Okay. All right, and leveling me up. She's just talking to people. Meanwhile, yep. Is that anything useful? No, I was just annoying Shadowheart asking about her artifact again. Hmm. Didn't we take that and try to open it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's still in your inventory, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I'm not sure what to expect to get at this level up, because... So, normally this is the level where you take your oath, but I took it at level 1 somehow or other and got a feature from it, so let's find out what the options are. So I get new level spells, I get committed to disease, that sounds useful. I mean, not really. No, that's useless. Unless this game changes things. At the tabletop, it was useless. Abjure enemy. Frighten enemy, they'll be easy to hit. You cannot move. Disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. And they say they're slow to see, so get something. Vow of enmity. Gain an advantage. Okay, that's the same as the Oath of Avengers always got. Neat. Oath spells. They get Bane and Hunter's Mark. Mark an enemy deal with additional 1 damage to be hit. So it's kind of like a, a, a bad version of Hex, essentially, in many respects. So they get Bane. Okay. And then I can prepare new spells. 
If I keep going with Paladin to level 6, it's probably the best choice. I need to get level 4 fast so I can get Polar Master, then level 5 will give me double attack, then level 6 will give us the aura of, um... Yeah, everyone gets a better saving throw, so I should just stick with this. So, preparing spells. Definitely want to have Bless. We are the Bless Brothers. We still don't use the Smites much. Thunderous knocks them away. You knocking people away could be good. Frighten only for two turns is not that good. Now I've got Abjure enemies to do it sometimes, so maybe I'll drop that. Compel Duel could be good. Um, favor, Heroism, Cure Wounds. I guess my Oath spells are always ready. I guess you don't take Shield of Faith anymore, right? So maybe I should take that back? Yeah, I don't have it. What is this? It takes more to your fight. That could add up over a long battle. If you don't put it out. I think we should try some of these things and see how they actually work. Okay, okay. taking long enough to do this. Sounds good. I'm listening to a very graphic description of what happens when you turn into a man fl mind flare. Now, I wanted to clarify that, because as I recollect, like, they've been talking as though you become a mind flare. Whereas I recollect, it's like the mind flare eats your brain. You are dead for real. The mind flare is not you, it's its own entity that kind of puppeteers your body from then on. But are they saying it's different in this game? Yeah, your body turns into a mind flare. I mean,. I guess we can join in the conversation. The first symptoms should have long since started, but yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. It's not a good surprise if it's still alive. What hasn't happened may well, not this is the anomaly. It hasn't led to the surprises yet. Anyway. I guess I also need to level up Will. Mm, yeah, I guess you can have him. So I might consider multiclassing here, because Warlock is usually, as I said, good for a two-level dip, and then you don't tend to get much out of it after that for most characters. Not that it's bad, but like, Elder's Class levels up on its own, essentially, no matter what class you take. Pack Boon's usually pretty bad. Let's check them out, though. So Pack the Chain, you get a super familiar. Animal, Imp, or Quasit. So Imps and Quasit, so Imps are Devils, Quasit are Demons, they're kind of equivalent-ish. Flying is stronger than normal familiars. Pack of Blood is normally worthless, but- Whoa! Okay. So, at the tabletop, Pack of the Blade was usually pretty bad. The other thing that was good about it was it unlocked this thing called thirst Thirsting Blade later on. It was still not that great, but like, do double attack, essentially. So if you wanted to do a melee warlock, you kind of had to do it. But, like, that wasn't actually a good option. But here, it lets you use your ability modifier instead of strength and dexterity to attack. So basically, now he can actually go with his rapier or whatever. He can actually attack with his charisma rather than his bad dexterity. So if he took that, he'd actually be an okay melee fighter. But, you don't really want to be a melee fighter. It's not a good thing. I'm already a melee fighter just like for you know, fun and whatnot. So, that would make him actually go with his rapier, but do we really want that or should he just be an archer? I'm thinking archery. Okay. Pact of the Tome allows you to cast... Okay, normally you can pick different catchers, but here's giving me Vicious Mockery is decent. Guidance we already have so many copies of. We don't really need that in this party. Pact of the Chain. In service of familiar face, but it takes the form of your choosing. Animal Imp or Closet. Is so that... I am curious about that. That could be good. Me too. I vote Chain. Yeah, if you take any of these, it'll definitely be Chain. Spells Wait, why do you say if? Because if we could do something other than Warlock... Oh, I forgot about that. Yes. So I think what I'm currently thinking right now is, well, it doesn't seem that impressive. I'm thinking either Bard or Sorcerer. I don't think I was here for the Bard part, so I'll leave it up to you. We already have a good amount of support spells. I think we're lacking in Arcane Power right now, so maybe Sorcerer is the way to go. Because you and I, plus a little bit from um, Gale, have a lot of Divine Power and whatnot. Okay. So getting more arcane from him could be useful. Sounds good. So that's where I'm leading. Okay. Alright, let's undo that and that and that. So he already has 
for damage purposes, the best blast in the game is Eldritch Blast. Okay. So, so if it's taking a counter, it should be one that has some sort of useful support effect. So not that one. Maybe Mage Hand. Uh, poison Spray. Nope. Uh, maybe. Friends. They become hostile to you, I guess, or something, but useful. Setting things on fire has its advantages. Light. He is a human. He might be able to see. Slowing enemies down could be useful, maybe. Minor illusion. That's what I'm leaning toward, I think. Okay. Spells. So I think I definitely want to try out Enhanced Leap. Maybe it'll turn to be useless, but I want to try it. Shield is mandatory, basically. We've already got sleep on someone else. Okay, so then subclass. I, I really don't want wild magic. This one would make him a good deal tougher. If, if he's not multiclassing the paladin, then we do kind of want him to have better armor. This would give him a bit of armor. Not great, but a bit. Okay. Um, this would give him more hit points. So visually, if he took this, he would be somewhat sturdier, although not as good if he had a level in paladin or cleric or something like that. Where this one lets him fly, which has its advantages. True. Should I try to find a way to keep this guy alive, basically, and you know, not bother with defenses for him? Sure. Okay. Alright, Storm Sorcerer it is. Well, we spent a long time leveling people up this time, and getting the band back together, meeting people we never met before. You reading something? Yeah, just the treatise on soul coins, because I have some. Hmm. To see if there's any information. What did they do? The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron. So, soul, coin. Hmm. That didn't tell us much, did it? No. Can you uh, take back Will if you want to? Oh, yeah, I suppose I could do that. I have to take you back. Wait, can I actually do... Hold on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, this one's Will. Yes. I had to really think about that for a second. Okay, and you can't heal me, can you? Uh, no, it appears Wait, not. wait, uh, can you get Shadow Heart to heal me before you ditch her again? She has spells, right? She does. Uh, how can we switch? I think you need to switch people out, right? Maybe no, can... you can. Okay. Just talk to the person and tell them to leave you alone. Uh, excellent choice. I'm walking, I think. Am I? No, I think you just selected him. Okay. These controls are still confusing me a bit. What? No! Get back here, you! Another joins our merry band. We'll need to keep our wits sharp. Yeah, I still think he's maybe a half vampire or something. Question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Yeah, we'll come back for you. I'll Perhaps. Here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Getting awkward questions from Shadowheart about why you're wearing her armor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where is Shadowheart? Um, she's over here, purple tent, uh, meditating. Purple tent. Yeah, I guess all these tents just correspond to an NPC. So we had the elf. Tent before we had the elf. Okay, that's kind of strange. Mm. So, I see a blue tent, and that has the invasion plans. I wonder who has the invasion plans. Yeah. There's Gale. There's a green tent. Where do you see a purple one? Oh, there. way off over here. Okay. Nobody likes her, so she's by herself. Hi, Shadowheart. We're here to tell, tell you to join the party, heal somebody, then we'll go back to having you sit and count. Here, I'll even come over here so she doesn't have to walk very far. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. So you think you're putting us on the road, but actually, I guess we could level her up. But never mind, we won't even bother with that. Throw a cure wounds on this lady, then get back to sitting. Oh, is that her best healing? Oh, I'm full health, hooray! Yes. Okay, dump her. <laughs> Obrigada. Janada. Um, well, Something the matter. 
Yes. Uh, if you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever <laughs> you rediscover your taste in company. I actually like that one. Yeah. Alright. I like Gale, though. Yeah, me too. Is that everything we need to do in camp? I think so. Go ahead. So it seems like just going back to camp is a great healing resource if you don't have the healers already in the party, essentially. Oh, yeah. With pleasure. Lead on. Okay. Uh, so I will leave camp. Oh, wait. Do you see Will in there? He's in your group. Yeah, he is. But is he in camp? I don't know. I didn't set him to follow me. Huh. Oh, did you leave camp? Yes, because I didn't see him. Okay. There he is. He's, he's right here with us. Good. So, inventory-wise... Yeah, we aren't grouped. He's currently not wielding anything at all. What happened to his dagger? Well, he has a, he has a rapier, but he doesn't have... Okay, now I'm confused. Gail's got the dagger. Oh, okay. Shields. He's proficient with them. We need to get him a shield at some point. Yeah. Alright, maybe we'll get some off of, like, there are goblins to the left or something, right? I'm sure one of them will have a shield. Okay. So we'll go back to the, oh, what do you see? A scared boar. A scared boar? What, how do you, hmm? I was going to look at the Mind Flayer pod thing, because I thought maybe that's what the thing came out of. Oh, I see some kind of animal there. See, I see, yeah, the scared boar. Let's find out what it is. You just shoot it? Maybe. Uh, I think you did. I'll talk to it. I wonder why it's scared after it just got shot. Okay. Do you have good animal handling? Nope. I do. But you shot it. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is it? <laughs> Drow Boingdens, or whatever her name is. Mm. The ball Pro. Can't imagine why it would be wary after getting shot. I'm becoming one of these the druids. Its what? Dash is away. I was trying to get his food. Hmm. You can still shoot it, maybe. No, it's gone. Well. Well, that would seem pointless because I messed that one up. Should have let me get more camp supplies. I guess so. Alright, well, we're going to begin a journey to the west now, I think. Okay. I'll follow you. We should probably save it here. We spent a long time getting the band back together. Are we saving the video too, or just yeah, saving so it doesn't crash? It's going to be a pretty long episode of just leveling people up and recruiting people. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Thank you for watching, everyone. And a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Illusory Thunder, Master 90H, Jackie, Gregory, William Wakefield, Kenny Boggs, Danny Hall, Jeffrey Moore, Supreme Crimson Leader, and Lino. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day.